man could live his entire life never having to experience romance, ambition, passion. But a man without obsession has not experienced the essence of his existence. Obsession is what has driven the great minds and inventors of our time. It was their obsession towards their work that changed the world. Without obsession, the perfection can never be achieved. Rahu is the cause of that obsession that drives us to live, drives us to succeed. If I ever met Rahu, I would actually thank him. Thank him for giving man the purpose to perform at his highest level through obsession. Without obsession, man's life would be like these woods. Dried, bleak, and dead. Maybe that's why I like to come here every day. To see what my life would be like without obsession. To see what my life would become if I wasn't obsessed about Rahu. Perhaps these woods gives me the energy to keep on going with my research. Something draws me within these woods. Something always calls me here. Vijay, it's me, Sunil. Do you think I can see you right now? Just for 10 minutes. Well, no, 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 it's, it's not, it's, uh, there's no emergency, but uh, I'm just trying to figure some things out, which I just can't seem to put my head around. And I was just wondering, maybe you can help me knowing, uh, we both have been researching on the same thing throughout our life. So I just thought maybe it would be nice to talk to you. No, absolutely. I can come over to your house. Yeah, I can be there in 15 minutes. Okay, see you then. <sighs> All right, let's go. That's it. We have got to go.
mean, look, I don't know. It, it, it could be a fluke. It could be a coincidence. I mean, somebody kind of, uh, is trying to screw with me. You know, somebody knows that I'm writing this book on Rahu and I'm researching and I'm diving in deep into it. And some, some crazy fan from the previous books that I've written thinks that it'll be fun to screw with my head by doing all these things, by finding all the things that Rahu represents at the same spot that I go every morning. Now, it may not be a coincidence. Maybe because I dive too deep into Rahu, maybe because I found all these secret mantras, these slokas, you know, all these sonnets of Rahu invoked some energy that is now trying to connect with me somehow, trying to connect with me subconsciously, trying to connect with me consciously. And here I am now, trapped into this energy, and I'm just trying to figure Sunil. out why? Why is it trying Sunil. to consume? What? When was the last time you ate? You know, food. Um, uh, I don't know, a uh, couple of days, maybe? Why? I mean, Sunil, no, this, you this... gotta give it a rest, you gotta go home, you gotta eat, you gotta rest. And certainly you gotta take a shower. Look, I need your help. I need your help. Because you're the only one who knows what I'm doing. You as well researched on Rahu for the past 10 years. You gotta let me know. Is there something I'm missing? Is there something that, you know, uh, that I can tap into and perhaps even clear all these things that I'm going through right now? And you said the same thing has been happening to you for the past four days. <sighs> same thing. Every morning, I go to these woods that kind of call me. They, it's, it's this energy that draws me into these woods. And somehow, I always tend to find these items that Rahu represents. Not to mention the wood themselves. And today, I'm observing this, uh, this cigar, looking at it, and suddenly I hear a voice from within the woods. And it called for me. I freaked out. But at the same time, there was something within me that wanted to go deep, that wanted to go in to know what is this? Is this, is this, is this craziness? Is this, you know, am I going insane or is this something real? By the way, how far are you in your book on Rahu? Actually, um, I'll be finished by the book tonight. No shit. Yes, sir. It's going to be finished tonight. After 18 months, you're finally there. Well, congratulations. Yes, sir. Can I ask you a question? And you promise you won't take it personally? Because this is simply from a astropsychologist client to a astro genius friend. Um, did you stop taking your medication? Yes, I did. But as you can see, I can clearly function in the society. This is why I called it. This is why I wanted to make sure I'm not going crazy. This is why I want to make sure that this is not something, you know, that is just in my head and not actually happening out there. I mean, come on, Vijay. If I was the crazy one, then I would be in the middle of the woods naked, you know, being picked up by the highway patrol and being, the, being in the 6 o'clock news. But that's not the case. I know what is up here. By the way, how's Laura and the kids? How are they handling this? Well, kids are at Laura's mother with Laura. Did you guys separate? No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. I actually insisted that they go to their grandmother, spend some time there, and this way I can actually have some loan time and, you know, finish my book and review the book. But it's nothing like that. I actually, she actually wanted to stay back. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Go. You haven't gone there, you know, for God knows how long. Spend some time with your mother while I can, you know, just uh, finish my book. And she understands. She knows that whenever I'm about to finish a book, I need to really just get into it without any distractions. Sunil so Rahu is one of the causes of schizophrenia. You and I both know this. And not to mention your moon itself. I was looking at your chart before you even came to see exactly what you might want to ask me. Yeah, talk about the obsessed astrologers. But you know yourself, you got moon in the 8th house in the nakshatra of Mula with Rahu, with the aspect of Saturn. And today, 
as we speak. Rahu and Saturn are transiting over your moon. In the nakshatra of Mula, three degrees away from your moon. Not to mention your birth moon itself is transiting today in the 8th house. In the nakshatra of Mula, you know there could be something that can take place. I just, I can't get my head around it. If uh, you will do something or if something will happen. By the way, um, tell me more about the sleep paralysis you experienced four days ago, which according to you was the most intense you've had so far in a long time. You know, it stopped for a while. I mean, I was going to the university giving my lectures, but then suddenly, just this one night, four days ago, I have the most severe sleep paralysis. I mean, I knew I was awake. And here I was being dragged away from my bed towards this energy. And I forced myself to look at this thing. And there I saw this blurred black figure, this tall figure with a long face, long eyes and long mouth just engulfing me within itself. And that fear, Vijay, was something I cannot describe, but now I want that. I want it to consume me. I want it to come and tell me what is it that it wants from me. Why are you haunting me? If you're haunting me, come and show me what is it that you want from me, you know? I, I don't know. Vijay, you and I know by you doing all this that you're doing, you have somehow invoked certain energies that are beyond the control of you and me. I mean, we're just astrologers, we're just researchers. You know, this is something that you may have to call a Catholic priest for, or some tantric piece, priest. They're the one who have the ability to dive into these situations and, you know, deal with such energies. I mean, Rahu is Rahu. I mean, sure, it'll give you a Ferrari car, it'll give you all the fame in the world, but it will haunt you to your last breath. And you know that. Demonic possessions. There's a possibility that you writing this book, you researching on Rahu, you know, diving into all these uh, unknown sacred uh, mantras of Rahu is somehow has activated your birth Rahu. And so nearly your Rahu is in the eighth house with moon. That's really not helping. I mean, you know it for yourself. If somebody's fifth house is bad, they start gambling. Their children will suffer. Their education might suffer. Their investments will suffer. Their romantic life will suffer. Because they have activated the house by doing the activities of their house. You're diving deep into the research of the occult, of the mysticism of Rahu. What do you think was going to happen? Now, is this schizophrenia? Is this not? That I'm going to advise you to seek a professional help, but knowing the things that we have experienced, knowing the things that you and I have uh, dealt with, there is some possibility that this energy of Rahu might be real.
afraid. No. I'm frightened. Why should he be? You called for me. How? By spreading the word about me. You know how much I love notoriety. What? Didn't you wish you had a chance to meet me and thank me? So here I am. I'm listening. Is this real? Are you real? Am I dreaming this? If I didn't exist, you wouldn't be here. So you're really wrong. Are you afraid of me? I have been watching you for quite a while now. I have been watching many who admire me. Write about me. Talk about me. But you, you got my attention. How so? You actually told the truth to the world about me. You didn't frighten people. You didn't manipulate people. You told the truth. If you're really Rahu, then why do you have a body? I thought Rahu was only head. You are writing a book about me, and you still don't know me. You are seeing my projection in your three-dimensional world. You do not see everything because I do not allow you to. There are only a few who can. The higher you go in dimensions, you will realize I and my body are one. We have always been one. That's right. Trim Samsa, Vim Samsa, Chatrava Samsa, all the other higher divisional charts. On your plane, I can manifest and do as many shapes, sizes as I want. So why do you come now? And why specifically to me? Why? My time of rulership is ending and fading away into eternity. Today, Kalyugans and Drapyuk begins. I may be the most evil energy in the history books. I will never make the mistake of questioning a sage and a guru. I can be war with Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, or Krishna, but I can never swing my weapon against a guru. So why does everybody think negative of you? Why do all the scholars around the world only write the most scariest thing about Rahu? For your plain ignorance is bliss. And to control people with fear is a gift from me. It is my blessings and my curse to know the truth about myself and to hold it on to myself only while the world reels upon what I'm not. But you you, Mr. Sunil Verma, you see things differently. You think things for what they are. I have never come across anyone who looked at grass as you do. So Graha, you mean planet? Yes. I don't know if this is real or not. I don't know if this is an illusion, but I need to know everything about you. I need to know who Rahu is. Please, tell me everything. My name is Swambaru. I am the son of Semika, who desired to be a Graha and earned the boon from Brahma. I am a student of Shukracharya, who wasn't too fond of Lord Vishnu. He prayed to Shiva and attained the Mahamantra of Sanjeevni. Through which he invoked all the Asuras to attack the Devas. 
and the war of Yin Yang began. I don't understand. I knew the day and time the Devas would drink the nectar of their mortality. So I managed to be among the gods and sat between your beloved Surya and Chandra, the moon. The only mistake I made that day was not to cover my hands. They saw the deception. They saw the swindler in me and called for Vishnu. I will no longer be part of your realm. For me, it's time to go to sleep and rest. This means you no longer will be a part of Jyotish? Or what will happen to you? I am eternal as long as the sun and moon exist. I will always be here. Just think of me being on a much needed vacation for a while of sleep. Even the Asuras get exhausted. But can I ask why are you hiding your face? Why the mask? If you could, would you really want to see eye to eye with the Asura? Not me. I could have shown up as a gangster, pimp, movie star, playboy, anything all you men desire to be. But what is it that you truly represent in Vedic astrology? I was a king who was turned into a shadow by Shiva. It was my obsession. Obsession for power. And it was my attainment of the highest of tantric power that transformed me into what I look like. My life and legend existed before your Vedic astrology. I am not a creature of Brahma designed to be in your realm. I was forced by my own obsession and malefic action. In due time you will read about it. And the world will read about my legend. My black legend. So tell me, why did Lord Vishnu, or whomever, severed your head and made the two entities, Rahu and Ketu? He put me here to test himself, to test his creation and likeness. I challenged him in the battlefield before I drank the nectar. I told him he will never escape my realm. Unless he went away. But he is gone, I suppose. And he did take on my challenge. For it was his duty. For this is why, when you refuse temptation, money, wealth, sex, drugs, obsession, you defeat the challenge and put out to him. But will you be back? Will you come back and reign on this mandala? Thank you for all that you did regarding who I really am and what I really was. I wanted to personally see you off to the entrance gate of Thrapyuk. It has begun as of now. It's time for me to rest. Tell them I am the Black Legend and I shall rise again. You know, but the most uh, amazing thing is, is... W wait, where did you go? There's so much I need to know. What about Ketu? How will I get to know him? When will I get to see you again? <laughs>